Yo, what's going on boys? In this video, I'm going to be going over magnitude checks and how to use them in kind of an exploiting sense. And I'm going to assume that you're already kind of at like an intermediate level of scripting and you can just kind of pick it up along with this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want is dark decks. I already have mine executed, but I will leave it linked in the description. So first thing we want to do is create a local for our character. I'm going to do local player equals game dot players dot local player dot name. That kind of makes it easier to go back and reference it later on. Then now we need our physical human part. So I'm going to do local player part equals game dot workspace player dot humanoid root part dot position okay now we need um, a part to compare to in the magnitude check so I'm going to use this goblin right here so it'd be game dot workspace dot npcs and goblin level one so local I'm going to do goblin part equals game dot workspace dot npcs goblin level one dot humanoid root part dot position yeah okay so now that we have those two uh, position values we're gonna go ahead and do local distance between equals player part player part minus goblin part dot magnitude and then now we can kind of go ahead and set our distance here so I'm gonna do local distance equals 10 now we can move on to our if statement so I'm gonna do if distance between is less than distance then I'm just gonna go ahead and print um, whether we're far or you know whatever the case all right so I did if distance between is less than the distance then I'm gonna do prints your in range and then I'm gonna create an else statement saying print your not in range let's just paste this in our executor and see what we get when we execute it so we get you're not in range so let's walk up to this goblin we're also not in range we're also not in range we're also not in range okay so it's this goblin um <clears throat> but yeah as you guys see that's kind of how it works though um i mean obviously if i did want to break it down and get the closest one to my current player i could do that but i didn't you know create a for loop or whatever to find that out um but yeah that's kind of how to apply it in an exploiting kind of sense um i know i've made a couple of scripts uh using this you know you could tween to the closest uh you know enemy you could walk to the closest enemy you could teleport to the closest enemy really whatever you guys want to use this for in your own kind of application but um yeah i hope this helped you guys peace